Do you like to travel? Let's learn some common vocabulary about hotels that you can use the next time you're taking a trip. Let's go. Ellie. Let's learn some handy travel English words and expressions. When you want to stay at a hotel, you usually need this. Reservation. You can call the hotel or make a reservation online. Did you know that the verb book is an informal way to say make a reservation? And when you make a reservation at a hotel, what is it that you're reserving? Room. That's right. You usually book a room according to the size and numbers of beds it contains. Sometimes you want more than just one bedroom. What is a bigger space at a hotel often called? Suite. A suite can include a separate bedroom, kitchen, and a living area. When you first walk into a hotel, what is this space called? Lobby. A hotel lobby usually includes a large entrance and seating area. Where do you go once you're in the hotel lobby? Reception. Head on over to the reception desk so you can check in and get your room key. What is the collective noun for the bags you bring to a hotel? Luggage. You got it. And whose job is it to bring your luggage up to your room for you? Porter. Expensive hotels often have a porter who will carry your bags for you. If you need information about the city you're staying in, which hotel staff member can assist you? Concierge. The concierge also suggests tours, recommends restaurants, and makes any reservations for you. What is the general name for the services a hotel provides? Amenities. Hotel amenities might be a gym, pool, and gift shop, while in-room amenities can include a coffee maker and toiletries like shampoo and soap. What is the adjective hotels use to mean something is free of charge? Complimentary. Typical complimentary amenities include Wi-Fi and breakfast. What is the common name for the daily cleaning service a hotel usually provides? Housekeeping. You can also call housekeeping if you notice anything missing from your room, like a hairdryer. And last, some hotels will bring food up to your room. What is this called? Room service. Yep. If you order room service, you can even eat in your pajamas. Excellent work. Now you know 12 new words that you can use the next time you're staying at a hotel. Can you remember how to spell the words you've learned? Let's try an activity to see. How do you spell this word? Write it down or say the letters out loud. Amenities. Did you get all five vowels right? And what about this? Room service. Note that there are two words here. Last one. How do you spell this? Complimentary. The second vowel is an I, not an E. Let's try another activity. Which of these images shows a porter? That's the one. Next one. Which image represents luggage? Yep. And finally, which of these images shows the reception area? You got it. Good for you. Now you know a lot more travel English vocabulary. See you again soon. Ellie.